Hello, this is Francisco Cribari, and um, I wanted to share with you something that I recently found out. I mostly do street photography and I shoot with uh, a Fuji X100S and also with a Fuji X100T. Uh, a few months ago I purchased uh, a Fuji X Pro 2 camera and I bought the Fuji 35mm f2 lens mostly because it's weather resistant and, uh, and because it has a very fast autofocus which is important for street photography and my wife has the 35mm 1.4 lens which is very good it's it's not weather resistant and um, it's even more expensive than the f2 lens obviously and uh, it has a fairly slow autofocus which sometimes hunts for focus but it's a fairly decent lens and then i i bought the fuji 35mm f2 lens I, I recently found, after purchasing the lens, I found out that it has a huge distortion. Distortion is pretty sizable, I would say. And um, unless you do some lens correction, you cannot even use your raw images. From what I read, uh, what happens is the following. Fuji includes some distortion correction parameters in the files and Lightroom automatically corrects for that distortion when you open a raw file in Lightroom but that's not the case with Capture One from what I read and Darktable which is the software that I use to process my raw images if you shoot JPEG, your JPEGs will look just fine out of the camera because the correction is, um, is corrected when the JPEG file is produced. So let me show you a file. Let me open this file here. Take, just take a look at the distortion here. Look at the distortion. It's huge. Huge. Now let me do some lens correction here take a look at what happens when I do some lens correction <coughs> sorry <coughs> so this is the image with the corrected uh, distortion and here it's the standard raw file so unless you do some lens correction when you edit your raw file many images cannot even be used and uh, maybe that's why the lens is uh, much cheaper than the f1.4 version but uh, is, is this a new trend to produce uh, optically inferior lenses with correction parameters that can be read by raw developers I don't know but uh, that's um, that's something that I found out that I wanted to share with you and then I googled for that and I found several interesting discussions for instance uh, there is this discussion here at fujixforum.com and the, this person posted here I went out and shot a couple of test photos to show what I'm talking about he was, he was talking about the huge distortion uh, of uh, 35mm f2 Fuji lens so this is the image that he shot with uh, F, the f1.4 lens the 35mm f1.4 lens and this is the same image shot with the 35mm f2 lens take a look at the difference in distortion here 
So this is no lens correction applied, of course. So this is this is uh, huge. This is huge. And um, I I believe most people don't notice that because they open the raw files in Lightroom. In Lightroom, for some reason, automatically corrects for that sizable distortion using the parameters that uh, Fuji includes into the raw files. But not all software and not all raw developers do that. Huh? And, um, and um, does that bother me? Yes, uh, to some extent. One could argue, okay, so you have to do some lens correction. What's the big deal? Uh, the big deal is that uh, we should first we should be able to use the images without doing some lens correction if we wanted. But um, after we do the lens correction, for instance, if we start drawing masks, the masks will bend considerably. You know? If I if I draw some straight lines and uh, look, I just draw I just drew a straight line here, and then you you can see how it bends. Look at this. This was supposed to be straight. And um, and uh, and then there are some uh, minor issues with that as well. So yeah, this is something that most people are not aware of when they they buy this lens, and um, I believe most people are not aware of even after they buy the lens, <coughs> since most people <coughs> process the raw images in Lightroom, and if you do so, you won't see things like this.